We are marking the start of Dia de los Muertos. Of course, this is the Mexican holiday celebrating the dead's return to Earth, all to visit loved ones and people here in San Diego are celebrating. CBSA's Kelly Hesedal reports from the County Administration Building to show us how people are being honored there. This day is a, a day that means a lot to a lot of people here in San Diego. So take a look at the altar right now. Uh, you can see it is elaborate. It gets more elaborate every year. Now this altar is about honoring and celebrating lives. We met a Marine veteran who was out here earlier today paying tribute to his dad, who he says passed away from alcoholism. The one solace I do have is that he passed away peacefully in his sleep. And um, that's really all I could really hope for him is just that he He's in a better, painless state. And Angel Garibay says uh, he's still dealing with his father Enrique's death. He died in July, and Garibay admits the relationship wasn't easy. He says his dad had a tough life growing up. He worked as a crane operator for 25 years. Garibay says his father's death sparked this need to really reconnect with his Mexican heritage. His dad's photo is among dozens and dozens of others on display here at the county administration building. Uh, for Dia de los Muertos, all have their own stories and families connected to them. Their loved ones uh, paying tribute to them. And sadly, during the pandemic, we met a lot of people out here honoring relatives who died of COVID. Garavay says that losing a loved one made one thing crystal clear to him. Life is short and we have to understand that. And it sometimes really takes a hard lesson to understand what it really means, you know, and and for years I've walked past this and never really understood it. But this year is completely different. And so if you get a chance, you certainly want to come down here and check out this altar. Now there's going to be a celebration here at the county administration building tonight that begins at 630. There's going to be music, food, dancing. It is free to the public. Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.